Thanks, Stan. You know, all month long, we've been talking about early screening and detection for breast cancer. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So if you're diagnosed with breast cancer, what are your treatment options? Dr. Velia Avizonis from Intermountain Medical Center joins us now to talk about radiation. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. Well, people, we hear a lot about chemotherapy. You hear a lot about the surgery that can happen, but radiation is definitely, definitely an option that's been around for a while. A absolutely. It's an integral part of choices that women can make and if you get screened early and get detected with an early stage breast cancer a woman now has very viable options of treatment uh, in the late 70s early 80s mastectomy was the only choice for treatment now women can choose breast preservation which involves removing the cancer checking the axillary lymph nodes and then radiation to the remaining t breast tissue is an integral part of it and uh, is, is a very good option and what's neat and new is that we now have a number of different uh, methods of radiation. We have a number of different choices of radiation depending on a woman's individual circumstances. So we're really able to individualize the radiation. And you have a great technology that's only getting better and improving. And you brought a device that's being used right now to help women kind of target those areas. I, I, I did. For, for some women, the best type of radiation is something we call external beam radiation, which typically means a daily trip to the radiation department uh, for anywhere from three to six weeks of daily treatments. You're in and out in 15 minutes. It's painless. Um, it does cause a sunburn of the skin of the breast okay. um, and some discomfort just like a sunburn does that right. comes on gradually but that that certainly is a pain in the neck to come you know that many times but for some women this is the best option for selected women we can insert a device we can do something called partial breast radiation which involves inserting a device much like this one and I okay. can you can you're welcome yeah. to play with so it a little bit okay, so, so that goes into the breast and it's got little channels where we can uh, actually insert a high dose uh, iridium source that delivers a dose of radiation to a cloud around the actual surgical cavity. So this is where it's going in on this end. Correct, okay. rather than treating the entire breast. And right now, this is a great option for women who have early stage breast cancer, who don't have uh, involved lymph nodes. And uh, you know, one thing that's important is not all of these different types of radiation are appropriate for every patient. Um, some women are better served with a longer, more extended course of treatment, depending on their cancer. This doesn't seem so invasive when you when you think about you know what the technology looked like back in the 70s and the 80s I mean we've come a long way for this to really yeah. fit in your hand right right I mean we used to put needles through and through and and do the radiation that way when we wanted to just irradiate part of the breast now just the slick thing about a device like this and there are several others that are similar um, is that uh, a woman can get her treatment done in a week Wow. so if you're a candidate, and again, this is my pitch for early detection and yeah. screening, um, because this really is good for really the earliest, best stage cancers, it's probably not applicable to more advanced cancers. For more advanced cancers, you need more extensive treatment, sometimes involving chemotherapy, sometimes not. Well, and this is a great option, like you said, early detection. We know that that's key. Mammograms save lives. Um, Self-breast exams save lives. Uh, if you go to our website at goodforutah.com, we'll put a link to Intermountain Medical Center's website where you can find out more about the Breast Cancer Center and more of the treatment options that are available. Dr. Avizonis, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me.